everyone. I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube harpy. I am also very confused by, by this tweet because SJWs don't make a whole lot of sense. And, you know, I want to shout out to Matt Deckard for sending this my way. This is, this is clearly an SJW based on who this person follows. And I'm not going to use their pronouns because I don't play that shit. I treat you like the cunt that you are if you're going to be one. Dear white men haters. Right, and I want—I wanted to cop um to to make sure I chopped off this person's name, if in fact you are a person, and and their picture here. But they, but trust assured, they do follow people like Renfamous, and um, a geek girl diva, Andy Gutierrez, all of all of the usual hateful people who drink out of the. Uh, fanboy to your mug. So, so here, here's what this, this, this it person thing had to say. Dear white men haters. So, so SJWs, are you, are you, are you talking to white men haters? Like, 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 like the, uh, the SJW types who hate white men, is that who you're talking to? You're not welcome at the cinema for Captain Marvel. Okay. I agree. No white men hater SJW people. This movie takes a stand against everything you represent. Don't pollute the audience with your toxicity. Well, I, I agree, don't pollute the audience with your toxicity, but what does this movie stand for that you represent? I, I don't understand. Now this is where I got confused. I stand in solidarity with every woman who has ever faced abuse. Mabel Hart Unicorn. Did Mabel fuck a unicorn? Who the hell's Mabel? What the fuck are you talking about? All right, so this is some bullshit new thing that I have no idea what's going on here. It's a confusing tweet, you know, like, like my first thought was, and, and yes, I may be a little bit, um, less than so we're making this video. Dear white men haters. I mean, I could address every SJW like that. Dear white men haters. Why, why are you hating white men so much? Why are you so toxic to them? Why do you have to get on your high horses and bash them. I mean, it, are you that insecure in your own femininity that you can't appreciate a man? Is that what you're telling me? I, it's, it's just so confusing to me. <laughs> and this, this, this is the type of shit... Seriously, get, get out of here. This is the type of stuff that gets under my skin all the time because because they're, they're so confusing and, and stupid with their, with their little arguments. What, who are you to tell tell me who who what movie I can't go to? What if I want to see a movie with a cat, right? And and, and furthermore, people don't want to see this movie anyway because of the marketing, because of Brie Larson getting on her feminazi little high horse over and over and over. It's being being taken kind not completely out of context with her with her language, but using very poor wording in some of her statements. Now with the Rotten Tomatoes fiasco, all the, every marketing of this movie is like, oh, it's for her, it's for her, it's for women. I'm not that weak of a woman that I need some godlike superhero to 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 tell me how to be a woman and how to overcome obstacles. I can do that on my own without some bony butt rich bitch Hollywood cunt telling me what to do. So not only that, it's not just men that don't want to see this movie who are offended by it. Any woman worth her tits is going to be offended by this marketing and, and say, you know what? This doesn't apply to me. The, I am not a man hating idiot who decides oh we all, we no man he's just a man you're just a basement dweller you're just a man because guess what honey y y you came out of one literally you literally came out of one stop your bitching you were cum you are a cum stain stop it <laughs> this is why i don't do videos not sober usually point is I get so tired of these people. Like they're they're confusing. They're stupid. They make the worst tweets. And and you're not helping. You're you're not helping. You're not giving women. You you're you're not giving women anything to look 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 up to and aspire to be. Women who are like this woman who wrote this tweet. If it is a woman, I don't know. It might be a giant it comes stain for all I know. Because we're not allowed to use, you know, because they get so offended if you say the wrong pronoun. So fine. Well, we'll just call them all what they are. Cum stains. 
This comes stain right here said, Dear white men haters, you're not welcome at cinemas for Captain Marvel. This movie takes a stand against everything you represent. Don't pollute the audience with your toxicity. I stand in solidarity with every woman who has ever faced abuse. Mabel fucked a unicorn. Like, seriously. <sighs> how, do, how does this empower me as a woman if I were abused? How does this empower me? How... That, 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 what, that this, this superhero, she's a superhero. She's not a normal woman going through everyday real life things, you know? Show, show me, here, I'm, I'm going to show for the Orville. I'm going to show for the Orville a little bit more. Claire, the doctor on the Orville, single mother, faces bringing in new men into her children's life, working, have a challenging and dangerous career. That's a strong woman. That is a woman people should should take note of. Ivanova, Babylon 5, strong woman. You don't need to tell me she's a strong woman. She just is. Samantha Carter, Stargate, another strong woman. Major Kira, Deep Space Nine. We have strong women. Gamora is a strong woman. Nebula is a strong woman, despite everything. Like Gamora and Nebula are actually really strong women in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What's Captain Marvel done? She's got a cat. Orange cat good, by the way. Orange cat good. Blonde girl bad. We're, we're trying to make that a thing. Orange cat good. Hashtag orange cat good. If you interact with any of these crazy people over on Twitter in your day to day life, please be, be sure to tell them that Mecca said orange cat good. Blonde girl bad. We don't care about Captain Marvel and her bullshit politics and, and, and her bullshit. This is for females. This is for women. No, the only thing about this movie that anybody is going to give a damn about is the cat because he's a cat. All right. It's, oh, just look at the face. I just want to squeeze him because there's no face. I just want to squeeze him. I don't know what the point of this video is. I just wanted to make fun of the tweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me your thoughts in the comments section below. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I am at randommonkey, R-A-N-D-O-M-M-N-K-Y. You will find me also as uh, YouTube Harpy, I believe, Mecha Random. You can send fan letters, unboxing stuff to Mecha Random 42, PO Box 1566, Loveland, Colorado, 80539. I appear on Midnight's Edge After Dark. I have been popping up on Yellow Flash and on that Umbrella Guys streams from time to time. Geeks and gamers. Who else am I forgetting? I, I, I'm all, I'm everywhere. I am a robot. I can be everywhere all at once. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I also have Patreon. I gotta plug my Patreon more. Patreon.com slash randomgameuser42. I have a review of Star Trek Continues over there. Um, for, it will... God, be there for a little while longer now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video or live stream. Bye! Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video!